Street racing is a noisy nuisance, but it can also lead to dangerous conditions for drivers. Not on your side's Greg Bradbury shows us where the hot spots are and what Tucson police, what they're doing to stop it. It's fast and furious, but also incredibly dangerous. Street racers and drifters have taken over parts of the city, like this video from the intersection at Raytheon and Aerospace Parkway. The Tucson Police Department says this is one of the hotspot areas for street racers. Some of the others are around Nogales Highway, Irvington Road, and Valencia and Kolb Roads. Even in quiet neighborhoods like this one, cars are revving up. And I looked at the time and it was 3, 3 a.m. And I'm like, who does this at, th at 3 a.m.? So I was really pissed. I was upset, you know. Sylvia Nyarko heard the cars and when she looked outside, saw a large meetup. She wants the people who do this to be more considerate. Some of us get very grumpy when we get woken up like at 3 a.m. So it messes up our day. So when you are deciding to do these things, I just hope people will think about others, you know, before they just do stuff like that. The Tucson Police Department is trying to pump the brakes on these races. They are impounding vehicles caught and working with the Pima County Sheriff's Department on a joint street racing deployment. They say that in many of these cases, drivers are going over 80 miles per hour on city roadways. As for road prevention measures, Erica Fazell with the Department of Transportation and Mobility says it's difficult. Um, certain traffic calming features cannot be implemented on these major roadways, such as speed humps, um, because it doesn't fit design standards, one, and we also have to allow public safety vehicles to move freely on these roadways when it's necessary. When it comes to speeding in neighborhoods, the department says some mitigation efforts like speed humps may be available. Greg Bradbury, KGON 9, on your side. And the Tucson Police Department says street racing happens day and night, but what exactly can you do if you spot some street racing? Well, they say if you come across a large group street racing, pull off the road and wait for them to pass or turn away altogether. TPD also says if you can't, which if you can do it safely, get a detailed description to help them find the drivers and the vehicles involved. And they say parents and relatives should have a serious conversation about the dangers of street racing with their kids if they think they're involved. TPD also says they will impact any vehicles they see involved in street racing.